chaotic, but doesn't really have anything to do with the wreck. I mean, that's all on Brad, and I'm sure he'll send a tweet out or, or go on a TV show and explain how it wasn't his fault. But he just uh, he knows better than that. He knows his angle was bad, and he just drove way off in the corner because he uh, made a mistake, and he was trying to make up for it and had no uh, respect for anybody on the outside lane. So, um, unfortunately, we got a wrecked car because of it. But we were starting to make our way back toward the front. It's uh, tough not having enough tires, but I thought Jason was doing a decent job managing. We had a good car all night. We just got behind on that pit road penalty and, um, you know, thought we were in for a top three or four. Some, some things like you should, driving like you should already be retired. Your reaction to that? Well, he'll get his wish in 10 weeks. So <laughs> he'll, he'll get his wish. So uh, maybe, maybe next year without us here, he'll get his spot in the chase that way. So he's, he's a guy that can get in here and he's going to win a championship before it's all said and done. And, uh, you know, it, this night didn't dictate it for him. I mean, there were 26 weeks to, to get you to the chase. So, uh, Tonight's not wasn't a make or break for him. I mean, the 25 weeks before that set the tone for tonight, and it made it stressful for him. And he was trying to make it happen, but you gotta, you can't just plow through guys and knock guys out of the way to get there and expect to expect to make it. Well, I'm fine. I mean, I think it was pretty obvious watching the video. I don't even have to watch the 14 cut across my nose in a turn one, and um, I got into him after that. But he had already already chopped into me and messed up my line, and I, I uh, you know, I, I clipped him a little bit coming off the two, but then he just cut across my nose. Uh, Going down the back straightaway there, and I guess he thought he was in the sprint car again. Uh, didn't know how to control his anger, so we'll um, we'll we'll, uh, we'll fight, keep fighting like we always do. It's unfortunate, uh, not the end that we wanted to with the Caterpillar Chevrolet. Got to thank Granger and Wicks and, and Sprint and everybody else that helps put us on. But um, just disappointing that you got somebody old like that that uh, retired and should be retired the way he drives. It's just uh, ridiculous. And you were racing him pretty aggressively for ninth place in the turns before that. Do you think he had any reason to be ticked off at you? Uh, I only hit him in turn one when he cut across my nose, so I don't think there was any reason other than him just being a bipolar and having anger issues. So, well, uh, I mean, he's, you can look up, you can Google, Google Tony Stewart. You'll see all kinds of things he's done. Look it up on YouTube, everything else. Quite the guy. Yeah, I'm okay. You know, Ricky was pushing. He didn't do anything wrong. It's just uh, my fault. You know, uh, we had a really fast Miller Lite Ford, and, uh, you know, Dave, I'm just not wrecking enough people. I need to wreck more people. So they'll stop throwing bad blocks. Um, and that's what's happening to me on the plate track. So, you know, everybody that's watching all them drivers out there throw another bad block. I mean, I'm just going to drive through you and wreck you. So look out and tell they. We're definitely faster than Matt after that restart. And checked up twice to, to not run over him. And I learned my lesson there. I'm going to run over him every chance I got from now to the end of the year, every chance I got. You, uh, you'll get that helmet back. Your aim was precise. I don't give a crap. <laughs> After the race on pit road, when you and Kurt were both asked to discuss what had happened, Kurt said that he thought he's in your head. You'd been pretty good. I didn't say that tonight. You did? I'm did not. Okay, I'll pull the transcript. You pull your Twitter. Pull your Twitter. It's not on Twitter. Okay, Facebook. It's not on Facebook. All right. You said we're in his head. Absolutely. It was on TV. Okay. Okay. Guys, congratulations. Thanks for your uh, show in here tonight. Thanks for your patience, and we'll see you in Chicago. Uh, three just dumped me. Uh, exactly the reason why I'm leaving RCR because you got those kids coming up and they got no respect for uh, what they do in this sport and they've had everything fed to them with a spoon. So um, I cut him slack all day and you know he just drives, dive bombs me in there, uh, dumps me. So just got to thank all these Anderson Syrup guys uh, for everything that they do. It's a shame you got to get taken out by some rich kid like that.